Okay, so ito yung mga value natin para sa 6a a bar over L and 6ab bar over L. So, for example, ito yung ating P. So, itong P na ito, merong distance na A and B. Ibig sabihin, wala siya sa gitna or wala siya sa midspan. Okay? So, kung sakali man na yung ating P is nasa, ano, nasa first span, okay, ito yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, yung equation natin dito is PA over L multiplied by L squared minus A squared. Okay, pero kung sakali man yung ating P is nasa second span, okay, so ang gagamitin natin doon is ito. Ayan, yung 6AB bar over L. So ito, ang ating equation is PB over L multiplied by L squared multiplied, uh, minus B squared. Okay? Okay, so once naman yung ating P is nasa mid span, ang gagawin natin yung ating A and B is papata mo lang ng L over 2. Okay, so kapag pinata mo ng L over 2 yung ating A and B, ang magiging equation natin is simply 3P L squared over 8. Ayan. So, syempre, same lang din dito. Kasi nasa gitna yan. Eh. Hindi ba? Okay. Then ito, kapag naman uniformly distributed load, yung ating equation is W L cube over 4. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. So, sabay, wala naman magbago dito kung nasa ano man siya, nasa uh, first span or second span, para sa sila ng equation, okay? So, syempre, ano lang, magbabago lang din talaga yung, ano, yung length natin. Depende kung nasaan siya, kung sa first span or sa second span. Kasi ito naman, kapag uh, triangular load, and yung ating ano, vertex is nasa first um, support, okay? Para sa ating, ano, uh, uh, yes, para sa ating ano, first span, okay? So, ang equation natin dito is 8W L cube over 60. Okay? And para kung sakali man na itong um, uh, force na to or loading sa to is nasa second span, okay? Ang magiging equation nito is 7. Okay? 7W L cube over 60. Okay? So, kung sakali naman, yung ating ano, height ng ating triangular load is nandun sa ating first support, magkakabalitad lang sila. Okay? So, ito nyan is para dito sa first span. Ayan. So, ito naman is sa kabila, sa second span. Ayan. Okay? So, kung sakali naman, yung ating ano, triangular load is ganito. Yung ating equation is 5W L cube over 32. Siyempre, paras lang yan kasi symmetrical eh. Okay? Ayan. So, kung sakali naman yung ating load is ganito, merong butal na distance na A and C. So, ibig sabihin yung ating ano, distributed load is nag-start from point A. I mean, from distance A from this port and magatapos sa distance B from this support. Yung ating equation is medyo mahaba-haba. Okay? So, ang ating equation dito is W over 4L. Okay? Multiplied by B squared. Okay. Multiplied by 2 L squared minus B squared minus A squared multiplied by 2 L squared minus A squared. Ayan. Okay. Then kapag ano naman, kapag nasa second span siya, ito kasi para sa first span, hindi ba? Kapag naman nasa second span, Ang mababago dito is, okay, so ito nyan is D. T squared, then this is D squared, then this is C squared, C squared. Okay, so, D, D, C, and C. Ayan. Okay, then kung sakali man na ang given is moment at meron siyang distance A and distance B from their respective sports, okay, Yung ating ano, equation dito is negative m over l multiplied by 3a squared minus l squared. Okay, then dito naman magiging plus m over l multiplied by 3b squared minus l squared. Yan. Okay? So ito halos parang ano lang dito eh. Diba? Kung mapapansin nyo, 
parang parehas lang sila sa point load, hindi ba ito? Ayan, no? So, PA over L, ito lang, ano kasi ito eh? M na lang, kasi moment yun eh, hindi ba yun, no? PA, okay, over L. So, ito nyan, M na lang, kasi moment na siya. Then, over L, then multiply by 3A squared minus, minus L squared. Then, ito, 3B squared naman. Okay, so ngayon, um, gawa tayo ng general equation. Okay, kasi ito, um, hindi, uh, masyado siya marami, hindi ba, para i-memorize. And sa pagkakaalala ko, hindi ito binibigay sa board exam. Okay, so, ang gawin natin is gumawa tayo ng ano natin, uh, general equation. Ayan. So, ang pagbabasehan natin is ito. Itong equation na ito. Ayan. Okay, para sa point load. Sigla gawin natin pasihan. Okay. So, kung naalala ninyo, ito, ang drawing dito is para dito. Ayan. So, what if, ano, um, distributed load? Okay. So, ang gagawin natin dyan, okay, so, kung distributed load yan, ang gagawin natin dyan, yung distributed load, kukunin natin yung P. Okay, yung P niya. Yung height. Okay. So, yung saan natin makukuha yung height niyan? Dito yan. Okay, yan. So, ito yung gagawin natin P. Okay? Then, kukunin natin yung ano niya, infinitesimal um, element. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sabihin natin ang height niyan is Y. Okay? Then, ang ano nito, kasi ganito yan eh, di ba? Kapag zoom, ano natin, zoom in, di ba ganyan yan? Yan. Then, maliliit na forces, hindi ba? Ayan. Okay, then, sabihin natin ang ano niya, ang base niya is dx. Then, ang height niya is y. Then, kukunin natin yung ano, yung overall moment. Dato pala black. Okay. Kaya natin black. Yung infinitesimal element natin. Yan. Yan. Siyempre, infinitesimal element to, um, i-assume na natin na ano to, na rectangle. Okay, then, ang base niya is dx. Then, ang height niya is y. Then, para makuha natin yung overall moment nito, which is sabihin natin p, okay? So, sabihin natin, uh, since uh, p to, para makuha natin yung overall resultant pala, sorry, hindi moment, resultant. So, p is equivalent to what? Yung area ng ating um, in infinitesimal element. And that is equivalent to y, dx. Ayan. So, meron na tayong p. Ngayon, ano ang distance niya? Uh, sabihin natin ang distance niya from this um, support is distance x. Okay, so yung x natin is maging a. Okay, then ito, ang distance niya from this point is l minus x. Then ang ating l minus s is magiging b. Okay, ibig sabihin, yung ating general equation from pa over l, yung ating p is y dx. Okay, then over l, multiplied by L squared. Ano yung ating A? Ang ating A is yung distance ito, yung X. So, X squared. Therefore, kung tatang, uh, ilalagay natin yung sa huli, yung ating equation dito is Y over L multiplied by L squared minus X squared multiplied by DX. Okay? From, okay, from 0 to L. Ayan siya. Kasi yung ating, ano, yung ating distributed load is nag-start sa 0, then magkatapos sa distance L. Okay, so ganun rin dito. Okay, yung ating P is Y DX. Okay, over. Ah, sorry, sorry. Kulang pa pala to. P lang, P pa lang pala yan, no? P pa lang pala siya. Wala pa tayong ano. Wala pa tayong A. Ang A natin is X. Ayan. Okay, so ibig sabihin ito. Okay. Yung ating A is X. Ayan. Okay. So, ito yung ating general equation. So, ito nyan is Y dx multiplied by B. Ano ang B natin? L minus X. Over L multiplied by L squared. L multiplied by L squared 
minus b ang uh, b squared ang b natin is l minus x squared okay ayan so therefore yung ating uh, p is y then multiplied by b l minus x over l multiplied by l squared uh, minus l minus x squared dx from what from 0 to l Yan. So, ito na yung ating general equation. Okay? So, kahit anong-ano na to load. Mapa point load man yan, or mapa distributed load. Or mapa, ano pa yan? Kahit, uh, ito, uniformly distributed load and um, triangular load. So, ito rin yung gagamitin natin na concept. Okay? Then, kapag moment, ito talaga yung equation natin dyan. Ayan. Okay? So, sir, paano po kung ano, kagaya nitong ano natin? Um, kagaya nung sa first drawing natin, ito. Okay, so ano pong gagawin namin, sir? So, simple lang din naman yan. Ito rin gagamitin natin. Ito. Okay, para dito. Teka lang ha. Uh, ano? Itagatin dito sa taas. Then, liitan natin. Ito rin. Liitan natin. Okay, so ito, yung sa first, kunwari nasa first pan siya. Okay? And syempre, ito yung ating, ano, yung ating y. Okay? Na kung saan, ang distance niya, gawin na natin blue, ayan. Ang distance niya from this support is distance x. Then, yung b natin ngayon dito is yung l minus x. Ayan. Okay? So, balikan lang ulit natin ito. Ayan. The p a over l. Okay, so ang p natin ang ang p natin nun is y dx, hindi ba? So ang y natin is yung w. Okay? So therefore this is equivalent to integral of y dx. So yan, y dx, okay, multiplied by a. Ang a natin is x. Okay, over l multiplied by Okay, l is squared minus a is squared, so x is squared diyan. And so ito yung dx natin, okay? Then, uh, yung ating limits is kung, nags, so, kung saan nag-start at saan magkatapos yung ating loadings. Ayan. So, nag-start yung ating loadings from A. Okay, so, distance A. Then, magkatapos sa distance B. Ayan. Okay, so dito, 6AB uh, bar over L. So, ito na yan. So, PB over L. Hindi ba? So, ibig sabihin, this is equivalent to integral of Y dx. Okay, so yung, y nasa, ay, yung dx nasa huli. So, yung Y then, multiplied by B. Ang B natin ngayon dito is L minus X. Okay. Over. Okay. Um, tama? Over L. Ayan. Multiplied by L squared minus B squared. Ang B natin ngayon is L minus X squared. Okay. Then, DX. Then, ang limit natin is kung saan nga nag-start and kung saan nagtatapos yung ating uh, loading. So, nag-start tayo sa A, nagtatapos tayo sa B. Okay? Okay, so meron tayong tatlong equation actually, hindi ba itong tatlong to? So ang gawin natin, um uh, nagagawa tayo ng ano, uh, equation number. Okay, para dito siya makalimutan. Okay, so itong ating ano, um, equation na to with different cross section and materials, okay? Na kung saan hindi zero yung H1 and H3, gawin ito as equation number 1, okay? Then ito, with constant EI pero hindi zero yung H1 and H3, gawin natin to as equation number 2. Okay? And itong last equation natin, na kung saan yung ating e, EI is constant and H1 and H3 is equivalent to 0, gawin natin to as equation number 3. Para kapag nag-solve na tayo ng mga problem, ang binabanggit ko na lang ng mga equation is itong B lang na to. Okay? Okay, so mas elaborate lang natin yung ano, H1 and H3 kung ano nga ba talaga yung uh, ibig sabihin itong H1 and H3 na to. Okay? So sir, paano po kung ano, meron tayong naka-given na settlement sa ating ano um, support 1 and support 3. Okay, so paano 'yun? So ganito lang ang mangyayari diyan. Okay, so zoom ko lang ng konti. And Okay, so kunwari, yung ating andito support is ganito. And so hinge. Okay, then dalawang roller. 
Tapos parehas sila na merong settlement. Okay, dito sa point 1 and point 3. Okay, then 0 yung ano, settlement sa 2. Okay, so ganito yung mangyayari dyan, hindi ba? Pa- kaparehas lang nito. Yan. So, ito yung ating H1. Sabi natin ito naman yung ating H3. Okay, na kung saan itong H1 is equivalent to delta. Okay, yung settlement mismo nito. Okay, delta. Sabi natin, ano, delta 1. Okay, then ito nung H3 natin is equivalent to delta 3. Okay, so sir, what if naman merong ano, settlement nito, uh, meron din settlement sa 2. Okay, so ano mangyari dyan? Kapag nagkaroon ng settlement sa 2, ganito lang yung mangyayari. Okay, so purahin lang natin ito. Ito. Kasi meron ng settlement sa 2 eh. Okay? Okay, meron tayong delta 1, delta 3, and meron din tayong delta 2. Kasi meron tayong delta 2 to. Yan. Okay, delta 2. Then sabihin natin ano, yan, uh, mas malalim yung ano, delta 1. Then ito medyo mababa ng konti. Yan. Okay, then ito, ang mangyari, ganito na yung ating beam. Ito yung chord niya. Yan. Okay? So, anong kukunin natin dyan? Yung difference. Okay? Yung difference ng kanilang um, settlement. So, yun yung magiging, ano natin, delta, uh, yung H1 and H3. Ito. Okay? So, ito nyan. Ayan. Ito yung ating H1. Okay? Then, ito naman. Ayan. Ito yung magiging H3 natin. Okay? Ito. So, therefore, yung ating H1 is equivalent to okay, delta 1 okay, minus delta 2. And yung ating H3 is equivalent to delta 3 minus delta 2. Okay, so, yun, ganyan lang mangyayari. Okay, so ano yung mga ano, sign convention ng ating mga settlement? Siyempre, settlement dyan, ibig sabihin negative yan, hindi ba? For example, yung ating delta 1 is, um, sabihin natin 30 millimeters. Yung ating delta 2 is equivalent to 10 millimeters. Ayan. Okay? Then, yung ating ano, delta uh, H1, okay, yung therefore, yung ating H1 is equivalent to negative 30. Ayan. So, negative 30 minus negative 10 so, mag, ano ito? Magka-positive. Therefore, ang ating H1 is equivalent to negative 1. Negative 20. Ayan. Negative 20 millimeters. Okay? So, ganyan lang pag, ano, pag uh, kuha ng ating H1 and H3. So, sa madali salita, yung H1 and H3 is the difference between the elevation of the supports. Okay? Ng support at 1, support at 2, and support at 3. Okay? So, ano lang siya? The, uh, difference in elevation lang yan. Okay? So, yun. Yun lang ating ano, um, additional information for H1. Okay, so yun lang. Yun lang yung additional information natin or uh, yeah, additional concept natin for um, H1, H2, and H3 for Chapter 4, 3-moment patient.